other peoples of the United Nations. Momentous opening words of the Great Charter for World Peace. At San Francisco, 200 men and women of 50 nations labored to build an organization that will outlaw war for all time. President Truman attends the last session of this conference, which the whole world has anxiously watched. The president meets many famous guests, among them General Smuts, who is a delegate to that other peace conference at Versailles, and Admiral Nimitz, under whose command British and American ships are hammering at the door to Japan. At the famous opera house, the assembled delegates hear a call for their final vote from the chief of the British delegation, Lord Halifax. And it is now my duty, my honor and my privilege in the chair to call for a vote on the approval of the Charter of the United Nations. Nation by nation, the delegates cast their votes. 50 peoples pledged to peace. Now the final signing of the Charter for Britain, Lord Halifax. Edward Stettinius, Chief of America's delegation to the World Security Council. For the third Big Three partner, Mr. Gromyko, Ambassador to Washington. For China, first nation to be attacked, Dr. Wellington Koo paints his signature. The Charter of Mankind's Deepest Hopes. Humanity demands that this be the Magna Carta of lasting peace. Final speech of the conference was given in characteristic spirit by President Truman. If we had had this charter a few years ago, and above all, the will to use it, millions now dead would be alive. If we should falter in the future in our will to use it, millions now living will surely die. Now there's a time for making plans. And there's a time for action. The time for action is here now. The Allied world salutes the spokesmen of nations which stand for peace. San Francisco has made a beginning, a courageous stand that promises to build a mighty structure for peace, a charter born of the agony and destruction of total war. It must mark a turning point in human history. A new way reaches to the future. The world must follow it through unity and cooperation to lasting peace. <laughs>